I have an emergency surgery to perform in Baltimore. I'll fly wherever I have to tonight to get there for tomorrow morning. Can you help me? Sir, I think we may have the same problem. I have an idea. The mountain between us. Where do I begin? So, side note. It's your boy Brian back again. Movie side note. Um, so I went in, pegging it, I'm either going to be on the range of good to very bad. Uh, I didn't think it was going to be like the best film of all time at any stage. I, I don't know why. I think it was just the premise. I don't really like Kate Winslet. I don't know why. Um, and I was 100%. I was indeed correct. Uh, all I knew before going in was that Kate Winslet fell into ice, icy water. She fell, yeah, she fell into ice, but great. Yeah, no, she fell into icy water. I thought that was fantastic karma. Um, I thought Leo DiCaprio would go to the premiere of this movie with a door. I think that would have been pretty hilarious. Maybe they met up, they're like, hey, you fall into icy water, what happens? You get cold. Um, so the story, <sighs> the story just doesn't make any sense. Um, his name is Ben, hers is Alice. That's grand. Uh, he's widowed and a brain surgeon. But you don't know if she, he's widowed. But I'm spoiling it because you're not going to watch it. Let's be realistic. Uh, she's getting married. Okay, that's pretty much the whole their whole story each. So um, there's no flights because of this storm. This uh, this is the thing that annoyed me the most, and it's like the critical point of the story. Uh, there's no flights because of this storm, and <sighs> they decide to get this crappy little airplane and fly. Uh, when the storm is supposed to be on, but when they're walking out of the plane, there's a shot of them walking on the runway. Skies are, are blue, perfectly blue. Um, and you know the fact that the plane is supposed to take off soon because when she arrives, she's like, oh yeah, I'm sorry I'm late, but I'll it's gonna make my flight. She's like, don't worry, it's canceled. And so the, you know it's not like seven hours time, it's like in an hour, like well, at the most. Uh, so they get on this crappy little plane and the pilot has a heart attack. Yep, you heard it here first. Uh, this, then they crash. Um, now, the reason they got on the plane is because he had a heart, a brain surgery, a brain surgery with a ten-year-old child in the morning, and she was getting married the next day. Now, I don't know about you, but if I was getting married or doing brain surgery, I would a hundred percent be in the place at least a day before. Just so I know I had a good knew knew I had a good night's sleep beforehand, but sure hey, that's just me. Um cast and acting, Idris Elba and Kate Winslet. You knew you know who they are. There's no need for introductions. Uh Idris Elba I found to be a compelling actor for 70% of the movie. And Kate Winslet I found to be compelling for 40%. She just wasn't good. I don't know what it is. So the characters. Ben and Alice. I like those people at a party that you don't want to talk to because you know they'll just deny you. Uh, I don't feel any chemistry between them. And when they when they save each other, you just don't really care. You're kind of like, oh no, why'd you do that? Uh, the only good character was the dog, uh, obviously, as per always. Genre. It had to ner it had the nerve to call this a thriller. It is not. While it is a drama, there's no real kick in it to make it dramatic. It's not a thriller. Faults. <sighs> yeah, I saw, I've covered this already because it annoyed me. The fall, the storm, and the blue skies. And like, there's never any. There's never any storm, and then the plane crashes. Uh, the CGI of the plane crashing is just bad. It's like the outside of it isn't. It's obvious it's not the plane. The plane's barely shaking, but they're going, oh, they're going, mm -hmm. and the dog just sitting there, happy as you like. Like, it's just, oh, God almighty. Um, oh, another thing. This isn't just this movie, but this movie is what annoyed me. He's on his phone, perfectly thing, when you're on a plane. Not wearing, they're not wearing their seatbelts as well, might I add. But he says, he says, stay on the phone, like this. That's grand, you're texting, right? He says, no, I'm playing Candy Crush. But like, playing Candy Crush is like this. It's not. You don't do two thumbs, you do it with one thumb. Uh, 
that's just what really annoyed me. And there's a lot of other things that just didn't make sense. Like there's just a cabin in the middle of the woods and it's completely glossed over on the outside. But on the inside it's perfect, it's like it's beautiful. Ah, oh, it just it doesn't, oh, it doesn't make sense. Um, cinematography, as I said, the CGI is dreadful. And some shots just aren't consistent with others and it just makes it feel weird. Like there's this, I'm going to kind of spoil it, they don't, neither of them die, which is stupid. But at the end they meet up because she she's not getting married anymore. Um, they're just staring at each other, and she's in the middle of the camera like this, like she's like in the middle of the in the middle of the focus, in the middle. And then it cuts to him, and he's like this. And it just makes you feel weird, like they should either be bang on the street or open to the side, and like it's like oh, uh, rewatchability. No, thank you. Uh, emotions. <laughs> this is. <what laughs> This is word for word what I typed. Nope. Wanted them to die to liven it up. It's... One fine day at the middle of the night, that's what it is. I wanted them to die to liven up the film. Final consensus. I feel like this was an attempt at recreating The Revenant as a love story. But it failed miserably, even with the fact that I didn't like The Reverend. Reverend? Revenant. I didn't like The Revenant. Um, I've slept through the bear scenes, so I've never seen that part, but that's not, that's not, I didn't like the movie. So I gave it 53%, which is a C minus, which that's not a good Sean. So yeah, um, here's the rest of the trailer now. After I say like, subscribe, and I like chips. So what's the rush? I'm getting married tomorrow. Oh, congratulations. No, no, it's, it's, we're not. We just met. So what took you to Idaho? A medical conference. Are you a journalist? Mm-hmm. Have it explain the questions. Can you look at me? You really hurt your leg. Your phone's smashed. My phone has no signal and we're pretty high up on the mountain. If we stay here, we're safe. If we leave, search and rescue. They're less likely to find us. Look, I don't want to die up here because you're too scared to take a risk. Someone's looking for us. The pilot didn't file a flight plan. Nobody knows where we are. We're all we've got, me and you. We can go three weeks without food. Three days without water, and three hours without shelter. We might die together, and I don't even know you. We're not gonna die. Not today. I hate that movie.